The big green egg, that's all you need for your lighting. Let's set it down and see. Perfect. Thank you, big green egg. Hey, welcome back everyone to the Sketch on Wheels channel. Today we're gonna dive into adventure luggage. I found some soft luggage bags that I think will fit perfect on the Royal Enfield Himalayan. Things we should be thinking about if we're buying some ADV motorcycle luggage. One is quality. It's gotta have quality. It's gotta stand up to some really rough environments. Second, it's gotta be waterproof. You can't go out, get in some thunderstorm, drop the bike in a lake or a puddle and have everything wet. That's just not a happy biker. That's not a happy day. Quality, waterproof, versatility. It's gotta be versatile. It's gotta be able to pack everything you need for whatever journey you're taking. Next, it has to be comfortable. If it is moving your bike around off-road or in the streets, it's too big a luggage. It's too heavy. You're carrying too much stuff. Next is size and weight. To me, I feel like you need to get as big a bag as necessary but as small as possible. You do not want to change the way your bike feels and rides, so make sure again that you get something that your bike can support and you can ride well with without sacrificing any of the riding styles that you prefer. And remember, the best luggage is the one that fits your unique needs. Not somebody else's, not where you think you're gonna be in 10 years, what you're doing this year, what you might be doing next year, so after that, what did I choose? I chose the Nelson Rig Hurricane Soft Bags for the Royal Enfield Himalayan. So we got it out in the garage, we're gonna unpack it, we're gonna hook it up on the bike. Let's go have a look. I'm gonna show you what the racks look like on the bike. Uh, a couple weeks ago I did a video, Happy Trail Racks, I put on the Royal Enfield Himalayan. This is what the bags are gonna be hanging over. So as you can see by these racks, we got a bolt here, a bolt here, a bolt here. That's strong. I didn't have to change the turn signal at all are the tail light. Very happy with the racks here from Happy Trails. Let's get back and let's open up this box and see what these bags look like. We're ready to open up the Nelson Rig Hurricane Bags. It's been several months this has been sitting in my garage because I waited for a while to get the Happy Trail racks on my uh, Himalayan. It's now time to open up the box. I just remembered also I got something, I think they're called rock straps. Uh, never used them before, I know a lot of people do. Uh, so I think they're in this box as well. So hopefully they are. Um, I know I ordered them. Let's get it open. Rock straps, there they are. Now that we got these Nelson Rig Hurricane bags unboxed, let's take a look and see what kind of quality they are. My first impression is there's a lot of vinyl here. Let's undo it here, take a look on the inside. Yeah, those are big. That is a big bag. So we talked about versatility earlier. This uh, bag can be pretty versatile. It's got a little bleeder valve here. Uh, you know, if you don't have a lot packed into it, you can push on it, get some of the air out, make this bag a little bit smaller. It is gonna retain its shape as long as you put the inserts in that, that keep it a rectangular shape, obviously. Um, you got some side areas here where you can, you can hold a bottle as well. You've got all these uh, Molly straps here. Um, I'm going to turn this around. I mean, it's a really nice quality made bag. I, I feel like I've done good, especially for the price of, of these bags. There's a lot more expensive bags than this, let me tell you. Uh, you're going to roll it over three times, and then you're going to strap the sides down, okay? And that's where you get your waterproofing. It does have this side panel here that uh, goes up against the rack, the hard rack uh, on the Himalayan, which is nice. I've got all these different mounts here uh, and then the ones that go across the bag and connect the bags to each other. So pretty straightforward system. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to getting them on the bike, see what they look like, but the most important thing is how do they handle when I use them. Uh, what else to show you? It's a bag. It's got a whole lot of stuff. It looks high quality. It looks nice. Uh, we're going to put it to the test. I'm definitely going to have this in the rain. Uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not just a fair weather rider. I'm going to ride whenever I can. So it's going to get wet. It's going to get rained on. It's going to get dropped. It's going to get abused. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this bag is in a year from now uh, after this year's riding season. See how it holds up. So I'm going to take these bags right now and I'm going to put them together. We're going to get them on the bike. And let's take a look at that. So as you can see, with the insert, the bag stands up. It holds its shape well. Not sure you can see inside there. We're going to roll it three times. Actually, three half turns. One, two, three. And now, before you go ahead and latch this and tighten this, right here, you see that? That's the release valve. So I don't have anything in there right now. I'm going to want to release that. And you can hear that air going out. Um, I've got that where I want it. I close it off and then it retains its shape. So everything's down, tight, in place. It's a nice light luggage. So let's put one of these on the bike. See what it looks like. I think the best way to do this right now is to go ahead and remove the seat. The Himalayan has got a neat little lock here with a key. Pops the seat right off. So a little bit of fine tuning and I did decide to keep the seat off the bike and go underneath the rails. Let me show you how it fits. Loops through underneath the seat. Here's our mounting rack right here. Little pad. Tighten that up. The seat's going to go on top of here. The back one is a little bit different. It kind of goes through the back of the bike. Um, it's nowhere for it to go there because we're going to end up strapping down to this rack as well. All these racks here, all these racks here, they get straps to them. So it's not going to go anywhere. And then I'll have the seat go up on top of that. To me, it's a good system. But I bet as I get going and going off road and packing these bags down, I'll probably have to make adjustments to these straps. All right, just finished up installing the Nelson Rig Hurricane bags, soft bags here on the Royal Enfield Himalayan. A little bit more work than what I thought it would be. It's just a lot of adjusting straps. Um, it's not gonna be as nice and look as nice as the hard panniers, but then again, when I drop it, they're not gonna dent either. So uh, let's have a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see how that mounts and straps to the hard rack. If you don't like a lot of strapping, then maybe this isn't the luggage bag for you. Um, but that's that's how it's held in place. Uh, but it's it's really pretty sturdy.
thanks for watching the Skitch on Wheels channel. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Hopefully it helps somebody learn a little bit about the Nelson Rig Hurricane soft luggage. Boy, these bugs are ridiculous, aren't they? Um, anyway, stay tuned. We've got one more thing with Zoe. Is this your new car, Zoe? No. It's not? Oh, that's right. You want a new motorcycle, don't you? No. Huh? Yeah. No motorcycle. No motorcycle? Do you want a truck? We're not going to run out now. Zoe, does Daddy know you've been driving his new cruiser? No. Oh. Um, he's not used to all wheels. Bye.